I can read book level two. Arthur's funny money. It was Saturday morning. Violet was counting numbers on her fingers. Arthur was counting the money on his piggy bank. He counted three dollars and seventy-eight cents. Arthur said, "Violet, do you know numbers?" "Yes, I do," said Arthur. "I am working with numbers right now." "Well," said Violet, "if I have five peas and you take three and give me back two, how many peas will I have?" "All of them." Said Arthur, "I don't like peas, so I wouldn't take any." I know you don't like peas," said Violet, "but I am trying to do a number problem. Will you help me?" "I have my own number problem," said Arthur. He turned his piggy bank upside down and shook it, but no more money came out. I don't have five dollars to buy a T-shirt and matching cap," said Arthur. "Everyone on our frisbee team has to buy them. They have far-out frisbees printed on them in blue, and they light up in the dark." Wilma's big sister is running errands to make money," said Violet. "She wants to buy a new catcher's mitt." "I don't like running errands," said Arthur. You could wash cars," said Violet. "The junior high kids always wash cars to raise money. That's what they are doing this afternoon." "Well, if they are washing cars, then I can't," said Arthur. "There would be too many of us in the car wash business." "I know," said Violet. "You could wash bikes. Lots of kids would pay to have their bikes washed." Great," said Arthur. "I could get the rust off the wheels, and I could shine up the frames. I could make lots of money." "That's no fair," said Violet. "I told you about the bike wash, but you never told me about the peas." "I will," said Arthur. "But first, help me set up business." Violet went into the kitchen. She got a pail and a brush. She got a cloth and a sponge. Then she took them to the back steps. Arthur was making a sign. It said, "Bikes washed, good as new, twenty-five cents." There is no soap or brillo," said Violet. "We have to buy some." Arthur put his money in a bag, and they went to the store. Arthur bought a box of soap for fifty-three cents and a box of brillo for twenty-seven cents. I hope lots of kids want their bikes washed," said Violet. When they got home, Norman was waiting with his little brother and their dog Bubbles. "How much is it for a tricycle?" asked Norman's little brother. "The same as for a bike," said Arthur. But a trike is only half as big as a bike," said Norman. "You should charge half as much." "Well," said Arthur, "it's half as big, but it has more wheels." "Tell you what," said Norman, "I will give you thirty-eight cents for my bike and his trike. How's that for a deal?" Arthur thought about it. He opened the box of soap. He filled the pail with water, then he counted on his fingers and thought some more. Look what Bubbles is doing," said Norman's little brother. Bubbles was eating the soap out of the box, and he was drinking water out of the pail. That's why we call him Bubbles," said Norman. He ate most of my soap," yelled Arthur. "You better pay me back." I will give you forty-two cents for washing the bike and the trike," said Norman quickly. "You'll be able to buy lots more soap." "I don't want to buy more soap," said Arthur. "I want to buy a frisbee T-shirt and matching cap." "Bubbles is eating brillo for dessert," said Violet. "Get that dog out of here!" shouted Arthur. 
He's spoiling my business. You have to advertise if you want business, said Norman. Tell you what I'll do for you. You wash my bike and put a sign on it saying, Arthur washed me. I'll ride all over town and get you lots of business. Me too, said Norman's brother. It won't cost you anything, said Norman, and you'll make lots of money. So Arthur washed the bike and the trike. He got the rust off the wheels, and he shined up the frames. Then he made two signs and put one on each of them. Okay, said Norman. We're ready to ride. He gave Arthur forty-two cents, and he and his little brother rode off. Arthur put the forty-two cents in the bag with the rest of his money. You hold the money for me, he said to Violet, and write down every time I get some when it gets to five point twenty-five dollars. I'm quitting. What's the extra twenty-five cents for? asked Violet. For licorice twist, said Arthur. I just love licorice twist. He gave Violet some paper and a pencil. Now, said Arthur, write down three point seventy eight dollars. That's how much I had to start. Under that write take away fifty three cents and take away twenty seven cents. That's for the soap and brillo. Violet wrote down all the numbers. Now add on forty two cents said Arthur, and that's how much I have now. How much is that? asked Violet. Let's see, said Arthur, and he started to count on his fingers. I thought you said you knew numbers, said Violet. I do, said Arthur. Look, there's a parade at the corner, and it's coming this way. That's not a parade, said Violet. It's Wilma and her cousin Peter and his friend John. Wilma was wheeling a doll buggy with a rocking horse in it, and she was pulling a stroller. Peter was driving a fire engine and pulling a wagon with a sled in it. John was riding a scooter and carrying a skateboard. We saw the sign, said Wilma, and we came to get washed. Arthur only washes bikes. Said Violet. No, I don't," said Arthur quickly, and he rolled up his sleeves. He put more water in the pail, and he put in the rest of the soap. Wow," said Arthur. "I'm going to clean up. This will make me lots of money." Violet got her pencil and paper ready. Wilma's cousin Peter was whispering something to Wilma. Wait a minute," said Wilma. We thought you washed for free. For free? Yelled Arthur. Can't you read that sign? Wilma's cousin whispered to her again. The sign on Norman's bike didn't say anything about money, said Wilma. It's against the law to tell a lie on a sign. I didn't tell a lie on a sign, said Arthur. The sign right here says bikes wash twenty-five cents, and that's what I'm washing. No scooters or doll buggies or anything else. Arthur pulled his sleeves down. Peter pulled Wilma's sleeve and whispered some more. Okay, said Wilma. We'll go get our bikes. You can wash them for twenty-five cents apiece if you do the rest for free. Arthur thought about it. He looked at the empty box of soap. He stirred the water in the pail. "Tell you what," said Arthur. "Throw in a little extra so I can buy more soap, and I will do it. How's that for a deal?" So Wilma and Peter and John got their bikes. Arthur scrubbed the wheels and he shined the frames. He washed the buggy, the stroller, and the rocking horse for Wilma. She gave Arthur thirty-four cents. He washed the fire engine, the sled, and the wagon for Peter. He gave Arthur thirty-six cents. He washed the scooter and the skateboard for John. He gave Arthur thirty-three cents. 
Violet put all the money in the bag, and she wrote down all the numbers. After Wilma and Peter and John left, Arthur said, Now let's get more soap so I can make more money. Arthur and Violet took the bag of money and went to the store. Arthur got a box of soap and counted out fifty-three cents. Sorry, son, said the grocer. This soap cost sixty-four cents. But it was fifty-three cents this morning, said Arthur. That's right, said the grocer. But the price went up. You can't get soap at this morning's price this afternoon. That's no fair, said Arthur. Maybe they still have it at this morning's price at some other store, said Violet. Arthur and Violet went down the street. They passed the hardware store and the fruit and vegetable store. Then they came to the general store. There was a t-shirt and matching cap in the window. The t-shirt said, Far Out Frisbees, on it in blue. A sign said, Window Samples Reduced. Maybe you don't have to buy more soap to make more money, said Violet. Maybe you have enough right now. Arthur and Violet went into the store. How much is the sample in the window? asked Arthur. Four point twenty-five dollars, said the sales lady. Do you have enough money? I don't know, said Arthur. I have to count it. He poured his money out of the bag. It will take a long time to count all that, said the lady. No, it won't, said Violet. Arthur knows numbers, and I have the numbers written down. She gave Arthur the paper with the numbers on it. Let's see, said Arthur. Three point seventy eight dollars. Take away fifty three cents. Take away twenty seven cents. Add forty two cents. Add thirty four cents. Add thirty six cents and thirty three cents. Hmm. That's four point forty three dollars, said the lady. You have enough for the t shirt and cap and eighteen cents left over. Wow, said Arthur. I'll take the t-shirt and cap, and do you have any licorice twist? Yes, said the lady. There are five cents apiece, or six for a quarter. How many do I get for eighteen cents? asked Arthur. You'll see, said the lady. She winked at Violet. Violet looked at Arthur. Arthur, she said. You said you knew numbers. Here are five licorice twists, said the lady. I've given you two extra for good luck. Arthur, said Violet, if I have five peas and you take three and give me back two. Wait, said Arthur. Change the peas to licorice twist and I will help you. Okay, said Violet. How many licorice twists will I have? Hold out your hand, said Arthur. He gave Violet the five licorice twist. Then he took away three and gave back two. You would have four licorice twist, said Arthur. But that only leaves me with one. You do no numbers, Arthur, said Violet. And she started to eat her licorice twist. Arthur looked at the one he had left. I got mixed up, he said. You would only have two. I know, said Violet, because if you took three licorice twist, you wouldn't give back any. You just love licorice twist. So Violet and Arthur shared the licorice twist, and they each had two and a half.